So in this module, I'm going to be taking you through SQL Compare. And we're going to start off with the installation in this class, moving on to the various uses in further classes. I'm actually going to be installing both at the same time. So to find these tools, let's first go to the Redgate website, where we can download a copy of the tool belt. Now, Toolbelt has a lot of very useful database production applications. So, for example, we have the comparison tools, but we also have SQL Prompt, we also have SQL Source Control, and we also have the automation pieces wrapped up in there as well. When we're ready, we can run the installer. And you can see here that I've got various other tools already installed. But the ones that I still have to install are SQL Compare and Data Compare. So I've selected them and let's hit Continue. If we're happy with the end user license agreement, let's accept that, specify the location and install. Okay, so once that's complete, we'll close the installer. And let's look at what that has provided us. So if we come into Management Studio, now I have a dev environment that I want to run a comparison against. So if I right click, I've now got a couple of new context menu additions. So I can now run a schema compare or a data compare. If I go to the schema compare option, hit set as source, and a plugin window will open within Management Studio where I can start running my comparison options. One thing I might want to do is switch to data compare and we have a nice handy little hyperlink in the top right for that. So if I hit that, then I can run a data comparison rather than a schema comparison. So that pretty much rounds off everything I wanted to show you around adding the products to your environment. Stay tuned for some in-depth detail as to how to actually run a comparison. Hi there, let's see how we can use SQL Compare to run a comparison between two environments then. So what I have here is a dev environment on the left, and I have some changes that I want to move to my production environment. So there's a number of ways that I can do that. I can do that by scripting it manually myself, or I can use the comparison tools. Now I can get to SQL Compare, again in a couple of different ways. So I could launch the application directly and run the various configuration settings for that. Or to be a bit more efficient, what I'm going to do is use the context menu additions. So we have a couple of additions here. And I'm going to use schema compare to set the dev environment as a source. And then I'm going to move my production environment as my target. A nice little tip is that you can drag and drop environments around if you want to change the source or the target. Okay, when I'm happy, I'm going to select the compare slash deploy button to launch the application with these configured settings. So we'll do just that. And the first screen we're presented with is a essentially a confirmation of the changes we're going to make, or sorry, of the comparison we're going to make. So I can see my source environment, Scary DBA Dev, and my production environment, Scary DBA Production. Let's hit compare now. Once the comparison is complete, then the application will tell me exactly what has changed between those two environments. I can open those up to explore further. So we can see here in the top that I've got two objects that are in both environments, but there is a difference between them. And in the middle, I have one object that only exists in my dev environment. If I want to have a closer look, then I can do just that by selecting the objects and I'm showing the actual SQL code at the bottom. So in this case, we've got a stored procedure that exists on the left, but doesn't exist 
on the right. We also have two objects that already exist. Again, we can select those objects and the highlighted lines will show us exactly what has changed. Now if I'm ready to take these changes and actually move them across between my environments, then I can select them either individually or at a group level and then hit the deploy button. And that will open the deployment wizard for me. Essentially I have two different methods to take some changes and push them across. I can either use the application itself or I can use the application to create a script that I will run externally. In this case, I'm simply going to use the application itself. So I'm going to hit next. If any dependencies have cropped up, then we can look to move those dependencies as well. And then we can look at the script that has been generated for us. Again, we can take this away if we so desire, analyze it in our own time, be comfortable with the changes that we're going to make, and then run them, maybe as a separate user. But if we are happy to take these changes and run them, then we can simply hit Deploy Now. Those changes are moved across. And the last step is just to run a comparison again to verify that those two environments are now identical. So we now have 50 identical objects. So the two environments are in lockstep. Hey, let's take a look at some of the deployment options we have available using SQL Compare. So I've got a comparison here where I've made some basic changes. I've selected those, I'm going to hit this deploy button at the top. Upon doing so, we can go through the deployment wizard. Now I can create a backup before deployment, just in case. I can recompare after deployment, which is always checked by default. And we can look to save a copy of the deployment script automatically to a given location. That's on top of the two strong options. In other words, to create a deployment script or deploy using the application itself. Again, I'm going to use the application to run the deployment this time. I'm going to deploy the dependencies. And we can see the actual script that is created when we go to the next stage. So we can see the various changes that are going to be made. For example, we have the alter table. and also the creation of a new procedure. Of course, if I wanted to take this away from the application and run it outside of that, I could definitely do that. Modify the script to my heart's content and run it when I'm ready using the appropriate user. One important thing to note is that all of this is wrapped in a transaction. So we can see that at the top. And that essentially means that all of the changes get deployed or none of them do. Again, very crucial when using this kind of deployment. In this case, I'm ready to go. So I'm simply going to hit deploy now to push this change out. So that gives you an overview of some of the options we have available to us when pushing a deployment through using SQL Compare. Thank you. Hey, welcome back. So let's have a closer look at some of the options I have available to me when I want to run a comparison using SQL Compare. So here I have a project that I'm going to create using SQL Compare. The first screen, as always, is the new project configuration screen. So here I set my various source and target options, so the authentication options and so on. But what I can also do is set the type of source. So I may want to set the source as a backup or a snapshot instead of a whole database. 
which will enable me to do object-based restoring. I could also use a source control environment or a scripts folder. Again, very useful as best practice dictates. If I'm going to be taking changes that I push into source control and then deploying down the pipeline, I should take my changes from the source control environment. On the next tab, I then have the options to define a table mapping. So we have our various tables here and we automatically take tables and map them across from source to target. But I may want to correct the automatic decision that was made here, or I may want to make my own custom mapping. So I can deselect and decouple these by selecting a particular mapping and then selecting unmap. At the bottom of the pane, I then have those two unmapped source and target tables. And if I want to map them back together, I can hit map. I can then be a little bit more granular than that. So for example, if I have a particular table that I want to open up, I can actually look to remap the various columns within that. So if I wanted to remap a particular column to another one, I could do that from here. We also have an array of various advanced options available under the Options tab. One that's particularly useful, if I scroll down, is the Ignore T-SQL T framework and tests. So for example, if I was using SQL Test, that uses the T-SQL T framework, I may want to make sure that those don't get pushed to my production environment, so I would check that button. Assuming I'm OK, I'm going to hit OK. Now, in this particular comparison, I've taken a table. So you can see I've got this contacts table here. And what I've done, as highlighted at the bottom, is I've removed this Twitter column. So the Twitter line is absent on the left. So I want to push that change across. Let's hit Deploy. Once again, I could use a script or the application. I'm going to use the application. Dependencies have been identified, so I'm going to deploy those. And I've been presented a warning here. And the reason the warning has come up is because the type of change I've made could be potentially dangerous. So Schema Compare will alert me to any changes I might make that might cause me a data loss. So in this case, I'm not going to run this deployment. Thank you for watching. I hope that was useful.